how's it going guys welcome back okay I've got will here helping me today okay we're gonna do a lot of change of direction a lot of stop and start okay as you guys know hockey is a stop and start game okay so that's what we're gonna be working on today as usual we're gonna start with the dynamic stretch okay you shouldn't need a ton of space at most this will be it okay cones will be about five yards apart and we're going to end up going to the third cone and stopping before we come back so dynamic stretch to start here will okay let's go high knees first high knees first just to that third cone Big step here. Big step. Looking that way. Rotating your whole trunk. Okay? Alternating. Let's go. Go. Make sure that toe is straight. Okay, reverse, reverse lunge, pillar stretch. Okay, so you're going back. Turn around the other way. There you go. Go. Really reach back. Nice. Beautiful. hug you're going down elbow to the inside of the ankle and then you're coming back so it's up here here and up again does that make sense okay slow it down not in a rush and then back when you come back look come back lift your teeth lift your toe up and stretch your hamstring okay and back good now we're rolling Back. He's lifting that toe, stretching his hamstring here. Looks good. we're going to 
going to do is a long stride sprint. You're going to go all the way down now, okay? And I just want one to two touches in between each cone. So you're really, really bounding, getting out as far as you can on each one. So you're here, push, 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 okay? All the way through this last one, okay? Ready, set, hit it. bit more on the balls of your feet. Okay, give yourself a breather, then we're going back, same thing. Okay. Now you're going to bound, same thing, long stride. Once you hit this cone, it's going to be boom, all the way through full speed. Okay, so bounding, okay, long stride sprint, then full sprint all the way through. Ready? Hit it. Up a little breather. I'll tell you when. Long stride, two touches max here. You're hitting that cone and you're exploding all the way through. Ready? Go, baby. Wheels. There we go. Good. Good. Okay, while he's getting a little water, okay, we're going to stick with this same setup, guys. Okay. And Will's gonna take off at every one of these cones, okay? He's gonna go into a stutter step, okay? So he's gonna take off, he's gonna stay low, one, two, three, four, up to the next one, one, two, three, four, next one, one, two, three, four, okay? And then you'll rest when you're down there. Long stride in between? Hard in between, yeah, you're sprinting in between, okay? So when you guys stop, make sure that you're bringing your level down low, one, two, three, four, quick, and then boom on to the next one, okay? Try not to pop up so much in between. Ready? Go, Will. Okay, good. Don't forget that last one. We're doing that last one too. That was a great job though, otherwise. Through those stutter steps, you're moving your arms. Push, push, push. Okay, some breathing. Ready? Go. forwards to backwards and then back through right this is in the neutral zone you stop okay play changes direction it changes direction again and you're going back into the offensive zone okay so you're here coming up push push staying low push to the next one staying low push to the next one okay that makes sense Push. Okay. Stay on that same side, so now you're going the other way around. Look. 
apart, okay, you're gonna form a box, okay, and it's also gonna be spaced five yards apart. So we're gonna do some drills within this, this cone box here. Okay, so get yourself a rest, okay, while we're setting this up for you guys. Okay, we're back at it here. We have our box, okay? They're each approximately five yards apart, okay? And guys, uh, like we've talked about before, making sure that, you know, whatever setup you have, if you have to approximate it in your driveway, whatever you have, okay? Just try to make it uh, approximately what we have here. Okay, so for the first one, we're gonna do all sprints. We're gonna sprint, 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 sprint every time you go to change directions i want you dropping down in your level okay you're planting and pushing back the other way even if you have to slow it down a little bit more okay so we're coming up up slowing down plant slowing down plant okay all the way through and finish where you start okay ready will go Now we're going to go from the other side. So we're going to do the same drill from the other side. Okay, good rest in between, especially if you're working outside. It's hot today. Will's not even sweating. Ready? Go, baby. Okay, good, good. Tough to do on the grass with uh, regular shoes on. That's what we're dealing with. Okay. One more. One more on this side. Some rest. get some water. Ready, big dog? What you said? Sprint, shuffle, yeah. back pedal, shuffle. Ready? Go. Good, work on not crossing your feet. So when you guys are shuffling, okay, you don't wanna cross your feet, you wanna use that outside leg and push, push, right? And your upper body when you're shuffling, throw that elbow, okay? Throw that elbow. Make sense, Will? Wide stance, that's better. Now, quick push. There it is. There it is. Okay, so let's go back now to this other side. Okay, get plenty of rest. Water in between. Ready? Go! Cross those feet. Push, throw the elbow. 
There you go. That's better. That's better. Okay, we got one more on this side. Make sure you're breathing. Make sure you're breathing. Last one. Ready? Go. box now we're going to take a cone or whatever you have at home we're going to put it in the middle okay we're only going to go through uh through this one twice okay because it's pretty difficult okay so you're going to number your cones one two three and four okay so you're going to go to cone one forward backwards to the center forward backwards to the center Backwards, forwards to the center. Okay? Backwards, forwards to the center. Does that make sense? Okay? So you're coming up. Here, plant. Backwards, plant. Okay? Backwards. Okay? And then you're going, boom, backwards, forwards. Backwards, forwards, through. Okay? We're only going to do this one twice because this one's tough. Lots of change in the in direction. Okay. Mimicking a shift. Battling down in the defensive zone. Ready? Go! There you go. There you go. Now backwards. Forwards. Good. Good job. Good job. That's tough. That's tough. Okay. Good long rest in between. You're really pushing yourself like he is, okay, right? You should be breathing a little bit. Should be breathing a little bit. Should be tough. Anytime you're doing so much change of direction, that's difficult. Last one. Ready? Go. Push through, push through. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, guys, take a water break at home and then we're gonna change it up, okay? Okay, guys, so we're back at it here. These cones are about 15, uh, 15 feet apart or so, okay? We are five yards here, okay? And then um, we're gonna go to some lateral stuff to a full-on sprint. So this is your battle in the corner like I talked about before, and then full-on sprint when you get the puck with guys chasing you. Okay, so the first one we're going to start off with, we're going here, and it's just shuffle, shuffle, full sprint through. So when we stop, be sure that you're not popping up in between. Same thing when we're taking off through, okay? You're not popping up when you run, okay? It's a gradual all the way, okay, all the way through. Okay, you ready? Ready, Will? Okay, simple stuff to start. Set, go. And speed, speed, speed. There you go. Good. Okay, now you'll start at this cone. And you're going the same thing. Now you're shuffling the other way with a different lead foot. And then you're sprinting through. Whenever you're ready, Will. Push, push, push. Now go. There it is. Pretty good. Pretty good. Okay, so next one we're gonna do. Okay, so you're always gonna face this way, right? You're going forwards, backwards, around, and when you go around, I want two shuffles and then a sprint. So it's one, two, and then you're turning your hips, sprinting all the way through. Does that make sense, Will? Yeah. Ready, go.
next one. You're gonna start facing this way, okay? You're turning your hips, taking off. You're gonna put one hand on the ground, spin around the hand, around the cone, then you're coming back, turn and go. So I'll show you what I mean here. So you're here, hips, push, down, around, whoop, okay, and push through, okay? Got it? Facing this way first, facing me. Pop hips, take off, right hand down on the ground, around, and then spread through, okay? Go. Stay low, stay low, stay low. It's going to be forwards, okay? Backwards around, forwards, backwards, and then through, okay? So watch, okay? I'm going to go slow here. Push, backwards, dropping the hips, forwards, backwards, and then through, okay? You're here, boom, forward. Backwards, forward, backwards, and then through. Okay, we're getting close here, guys, getting close. Ready, go. Now take off. That's it. Some good rest. We're almost there, guys, almost there. just for conditioning okay call it the Z drill we're going up touch here touch here all the way through okay and then we're gonna be done okay does that make sense okay far cone on this left side back to here and then all the way through sprint back pedal or just a full-on sprint sprint the whole time Okay, this is the last one. Last one, then you got it, baby. Ready? Last one. Go! Stay low, stay low out, stay low out. This is it, this is it, all the way through. Okay, great job, Will. Great job, Will. Okay, guys, that's all I have for you today. Okay, we're moving over to skills. Okay, great job today. I know it was hot, short and sweet, a lot in a little bit of time. Uh, have a great day. Thank you. Hey guys, this is Coach Trevor here uh, with my son Cross again, and we are gonna start our fifth video that him and I kind of put together for, for you guys so you guys can work on at home. And this video is uh, a lot, to, we're gonna do a couple different um, uh, drills, but it's gonna be a lot of hand-eye coordination, okay? Um, the first drill that I have in store is one where I'm just gonna be on one knee tossing pucks in the air <clears throat> in front of the net and Cross is going to bat pucks out of midair, okay? Um, and then the next one we're going to work on is, um, I'm going to take some shots from a further out. Cross is going to be standing in front of the net, in front of the goalie, tipping pucks uh, on his forehand uh, going down, and then on his forehand tipping the puck up, okay? And then he's also going to work on the backhand side, tipping pucks down, and then also tipping pucks up, all right? It's all hand-eye coordination. Um, as we get going into this video, super, super important that you are 
a lot of the goals, and like Cross and I kind of just talked about before we went on, on the video here, so many goals are scored in tight and just being in front of the net in tight in that house and just really having good hand-eye coordination, whether the puck's in the air or, or maybe it's a, it's a loose puck or, or maybe you got to bat it out of midair. So many things are happening in front of that net and you have got, you got to have good body positioning in front, but also have those hands out stick in a position where you can maybe get a, a you know, a stick on a puck, okay? So the first drill we're gonna work on, I'm just gonna toss some pucks um, to cross kind of in, the, uh, in front of the net, and he's just gonna try and bat pucks out of midair, okay? Those are goals that are scored nowadays, whether it's at the youth level, junior level, or pro level, okay? So just working on your hand-eye coordination, okay? So let's work on this first drill. <laughs> it's a really, really good drill. And like I said, I'm just tossing pucks up. When you guys work on this at home, you're obviously going to need your mom or dad or a brother or sister to kind of toss some pucks here. And um, it's kind of going to be a two-man drill, but it's really good for this hand-eye. Let me cross just back up just a little bit. So Cross is just going to work on puck come, comes from the side or maybe the corner, and it comes out in front in the air, and he's going to bat it out. And before we move into this drill, Cross, I, I believe your first WHL goal was batted out of midair, was it not? Yeah, it was. Yeah, the puck popped up and it came down and he made contact with it, hand, and it was his hand-eye coordination that created that first goal, okay? So here we go, we'll go through about 12 or 15 pucks just working on hand-eye coordination, all right? Here we go, here we go. Good. Go oh. It's all right. That's why we work on this. Practice looks perfect, okay? So we're just gonna keep working on puck coming in front, could be a scenario where it just got deflected and he bats it out of midair. One thing we gotta remember, he doesn't wanna hit it over his shoulders because that's gonna be high stick and it's not gonna count, right? So we gotta make sure that that puck, if, it's, if it is high, you gotta make sure it's coming down below the shoulders, okay? Here it is. Here we go. And it may not be in position, he may have to move a little bit, okay? And find that puck and bat it down. Nice, good, 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 good. Good hand eye. Yeah, keep going here. A few more. Sorry. Right. Two more. Good. 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 So this is a really good drill, guys. Working for maybe seven to ten minutes, just on hand eye coordination. Okay, just in front, and it can come from both sides. It doesn't always have to be the one side. And do it in different scenarios where he may have to move a little bit to the to the going forward or a little bit back but just trying to make good contact with that puck on his, on his blade here to find the net, okay? So that's the first one. The next one we're gonna do, cross we kind of be in front of the net here. This next one, and we're gonna work on is, um, maybe I'll move back just a little bit. Or is it good? Yeah, it's probably good. So cross is gonna work on, can't be right on top of the goaltender, the reason why he doesn't want to be right on top of the goaltender, Cross, can you explain why if you're just right on top of the goaltender, it's going to be tough to really deflect that puck and, and let it move and, and do its course going to the net. You want to come out and screen the goaltender so he can't really see the puck, but you want to make contact with it so that puck has time to kind of move, right? Yeah, uh, like you said, I think standing in front of the net is really, it's actually a really big skill to have. Because I mean, it's more—it's more of a skill than a want thing to me. And I mean, the person that's standing in front of the goalie screening them is what creates goals most of the time. Whether they tip it or they're just screening the goalie, and your team gets a goal, uh, just kind of make sure you're always in the vision of the goalie. Kind of get a stick on if you can. So the old saying in hockey, and it's been around for many years, is good things happen if you go to the net and stay in front of the net in the offensive zone. Those players, the ones that will go to the net, but then stay there. Don't go past the net. Stay there, especially if you guys got puck possession in your own end, in, in the offensive zone. Maybe there's a chance, hey, puck goes back to the point or it's on the half wall, but if you're in front, hey, you got a good chance of not only tipping the puck, deflecting the puck, but also maybe spinning off and finding a loose puck after off a rebound, okay? Good things happen to players that go to the net 
and stay there knowing that the puck's going to get there. Or, okay? or just even having a good screen and maybe a shot gets through and just goes in because the goalie couldn't see it around you. Gives yeah. you the team a goal. Perfect. So on this drill here, cross the stand in front a little bit. Come out a little bit. So the first one we're going to work on is cross is going to work on forehand tapping the puck down. Okay, so it's hand-eye coordination, making contact with the puck, and tapping that puck down on his forehand. Okay? So let's work on that here. And uh, then we'll go where he taps the puck up. Yeah, we're going forehand, tapping the puck down. Alright, here we go. Alright, here we go. Sorry. Probably about eight to ten shots. Cross made pretty good contact on tapping that puck down, finding it where, where he wanted to go on the net. And uh, and a lot of times, guys, those will turn into goals. And if they don't, and if it happens to hit the goaltender, like we talked about earlier, not only does Cross tip it there, but now in a game situation, obviously we're just working on the tips and, and hand eye. But in a game situation, he would tip, but then spin off, and then find loose puck if it doesn't go in. Okay. So now we're going to go forehand tipping up. That's when the puck's up just a little bit off the ice, and then he's going to go up with the puck. Okay. Instead of tipping down, he's going to push that puck up a little bit. This is a little bit more difficult. Okay. <coughs> so let's work on this here. Tipping that puck going up. Forehand. Ready? Here we go. There you go. Kind of a lower shot, maybe a foot off the ice, and he's going to tip it up. There you go. Good. Doesn't have to be a big tip, just enough to redirect the puck a little bit. There we go. It's all right. Good. Nice. Good. Nice. Really good one there. Really good. Good. Yeah, got a piece of it there. Good. Good. Oh, that was a little high. So you kind of got to judge where that shot's coming from and how high it is. We want to tap it down. If it's a little bit on the higher side, we may want to go up. If it's a little bit on the lower side, coming in. Okay. Two more. Two more here. Good. All right. Last one. Nice. Good job, really good, okay? So we got his forehand side tapping down and tapping up, okay? Now he's gotta go to the backhand side, okay? Now he's gonna go to the backhand side, all right? So here we go, Cross. This one's gonna be a little bit more tougher. As you're gonna see with Cross's hands, they're gonna come out, away from his body, and he's gotta open up a little bit and twist and turn the torso, okay? So it's all about that hand-eye though. He's gonna tap it down, backhand. Real tough drill, but if you kids can get this and really have the good hand-eye coordination, it's gonna make a world of difference for you in front of the net, okay? Here we go, so we're going backhand, his hands are out. He's not turning his body, he's facing the puck, okay? His body's facing the, the shot. All right, side. Never easy on the back end. It's a little bit more difficult than the forehand. There you go. Good job. It's all right. Hand eye. Good tap. Good tap down. There you go. We'll go through these pucks here about another eight or nine. All right. Again, 
Backhand. Here we go. Backhand. Tap. Here we go. Five or six more. There you go. Ready? Four more. Four more. Three more. Good. Two more. Nice. Good. All right, good. So that's the backhand tapping it down. This one is even a little bit more difficult. It's the backhand turning, turning, and backhand up, okay? You gotta really make good contact with that puck, good hand-eye coordination when that puck is coming at a good speed, and just tapping it up, and maybe going, as a lefty, you probably going over the blocker, you know what I mean? Righty would be going over the glove, all right? So now let's work on here, hands are out, backhand side, tapping the puck up. All hand-eye coordination, ready? Here we go. You notice how he turned over his blade? I believe you could probably go this way or this way. Whatever you feel comfortable with the blade, RC Cross feels a bit more comfortable going backhand side, but to the forehand, okay? Here we go. Good. Nice, really good direction there. That's the goal, that's for sure. Nice, doesn't have to be much. Just gotta make contact and uh, change the direction of the puck just a little bit, okay? Nice, really good. The goal right there in the top shelf on, on the blocker side. Here we go, turn that blade over on his, his forehand but on the backhand side. Do a few on the back end, or you put it back end. There you go. There you go. Let's go a few more here. Nice. Really good. This will be the difference, guys. You guys got to work on that hand eye. It's going to take a lot of practice, a lot of reps. Okay? Let's go about three more across. Good. 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 Two more. All right. Let's get one more contact here on the back end side. Good, 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 good. All right, so we've gone over. We've gone over where I've been on one knee and just tossing pucks up in front of the net. Where cross makes good hand-eye contact, batting pucks out of midair. We said earlier in the video that was his very first junior goal in Portland was the puck came, puck got popped up in front of the net and the key came down with it and batted out of midair and scored his very first goal at junior hockey. Very important at hand-eye, okay? And then we worked on Tipping the puck down on his forehand, tipping the puck up on his forehand, and then on his backhand side, tipping down and tipping up, okay? So lastly, what we're gonna do, and I just really uh, encourage you guys, this is really good for hand-eye coordination. Cross, you and I are just gonna grab a ball each and just work on, uh, just work on hand-eye coordination. So let's, let's have a little fun here with these balls. And, I'll go over the first one. Most kids could probably just do this, pull that puck up or the ball. And this really is good hand-eye coordination, just holding the ball on your blade, okay? This, take, this takes some skill and just some steady hands and just really controlling that ball. As you get this feel, now just start to kind of, I don't know. Okay, I lost it. Pick it back up, right? Okay? And then, whoa, 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 here we go. And as you get used to this and kind of do a lot of experience with this, now you can do a lot of different things. And we'll let Cross do some things, but I know that in the past, Coach Trevor has done here where I roll it down the shaft, okay? Or maybe you can go forehand, backhand, forehand, backhand. All right, Cross, you go over and do some hand-eye coordination drills if you want. Okay, we'll just keep going. Just do a few. You can go five, there you go. Backhand, forehand, backhand, forehand. All right, there's another drill. Another one you can work on is here. Go a little bit higher instead of small ones. Go a little bit higher and control that ball. A little bit higher, boom, control. 
Okay, this is all just trial and error and just getting a good feel for the ball. This will help you big time, okay? Do more, do more. Try backhand, just go backhand. That's a little tougher. Control the ball on the backhand. Yeah, that's a, that's a tough drill right there. That's hand-eye. Really good hand-eye right there to keep that ball going, okay? All right. Oh, nice. There's another one. There's another one. So if you have a good partner across, uh, you go over there, you stand over here. Here's another one we can work on hand-eye stand over here. Where we keep the ball in the air, okay? We keep the ball in the air. Oh, sorry. Nice toss. That was a bad toss. And we try and keep that ball in the air without touching the ground. Alright? Maybe control a couple times. Ah. Okay, that's alright. You gotta get someone out here. Here. Okay, you got another ball? Here's even another drill you guys can do if you're just solo. Rough the ball. Here's another drill you can do. You got a wall or something just coming off the wall. Oh, catch. Okay? Off the wall and catch. Off the wall and catch. Oh, four. Put on a clinic. Let's go for five. Oh, I had four in a row. Okay, that's all hand-eye. That's just really training that hand-eye coordination. Okay? So, I just really encourage you guys. This is such a big hockey skill, and uh, there's so many d different little drills that you can do in this. Um, I know even another thing that I have done personally Cross is done a little bit, but juggling balls. I mean, to me, get three tennis balls and, and start juggling. Juggling with tennis balls. It's just hand-eye coordination and timing, okay? Hand-eye coordination and timing. Hockey players with good hand-eye coordination, oh my goodness, I mean, you're gonna, you're gonna do very well. I mean, think about it in the game of hockey. I mean, to do it one time, or what's, I mean, what is it? It's all hand what? Hand-eye. It's hand-eye. I mean, you gotta keep your eye on that puck that puck comes fast to you with a good hard firm pass and you got to make sure you have good good contact it's that hand eye coordination so it's all timing eye on the puck right to your stick and then you drive that puck i mean ovechkin on those one timers on his forehand side on the top of the circle on the power play is absolutely lethal all the teams that he plays against knows it's coming and he still makes great contact with that puck and um and finds that net okay so work on these different little drills with hand-eye coordination. It's going to help your game out so much. And then you're going to find that, man, I'm starting to gain confidence. I'm starting to gain a lot of confidence at just finding pucks. And, and this is getting easier as you continue to work on this. Okay? So this is our, our, our fifth video between uh, the two of us here. And just encourage you guys to really, really work on the hand-eye coordination. And have some fun with it, and hopefully you have some, uh, maybe another partner or someone else to help you out. Okay, everyone, have a good night, and uh, thanks for coming and watching.